Hello everybody. I hope everybody's having a great day today. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. Okay, now then. First thing I want to say is thank you to my new members. Thank you for coming on board. I greatly appreciate the time you take, have taken, and will take. <laughs> okay, what am I doing today? I am... One of the things I've been trying to do is one and done. Now, the best one and dones are the little pots from Tom Ford, from uh, Charlotte Tilbury, there's some from Natasha Denona, there's a lot of the high-end ones. But there's, those are, yeah, they would be the best, of course. Auric as well. I want to get my hands on those, but that is expensive. Anyway, the other thing that is available for one and done is the liquid shadows. Well, not in Canada, it would seem. <laughs> they don't seem to be like all of the drugstore brands have liquid shadows but we can't buy them here so i do have a couple of stilas i do have also a couple of elf ones but the ones i have from elf are silver and blue which i do want to put together because that look together is beautiful as far as i'm concerned but that scares me right now so it's probably going to be one of those i'm doing it not on a video day <laughs> <laughs> but today, I, I've been watching a lot of videos past couple of days on how to do this. <laughs> so let's have some fun. Um, on Nook, the, the one she did was absolutely gorgeous, but I want to go a little bit darker than blush. Uh, and I am going to use, she used a... a uh, transition shade in powder and I want to use my elf one it's it's starting to dry out so I want to get use out of it um, the one thing I forgot to do is I'm going to do this quick 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 lickety slit barber trick and I can actually do this just set my my uh, primer quick 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 and done so I love having this thing available this little Annabelle pot so that I can just if if there's not a shade close to my skin tone then I can easily sorry just <laughs> wiggling <laughs> getting my butt together okay so what I'm gonna do now is unfortunately I do need a mirror for this because my little phone is not good enough and I've got my brush ready this is a shame because it's a beautiful color it's just it's it's dried it's drying up a lot quicker than the steel is and there is another one I have and I tried that one but it's the same color as my skin. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> it looks like I haven't put anything on. So I kind of gave up on that one. <laughs> but this one, it's like, I, yeah, I'll do this first and then I'll get you the color, I hope. I forgot to put my spotlight on. I hope you guys can see. Just. <laughs> I kicked you. I didn't mean to kick you. All right. Will that actually help? Probably not. <laughs> and back we go. And hopefully not kick you this time. Okay. Actually, it does help. Quite a bit, actually. <laughs> so let us... See, that's probably going to be it. I noticed the last time I did this, 
in the other room I was covering my face up a little too much nasty nasty it's like driving you have to look in five different mirrors at the same time <laughs> and the front look at that color okay let me get you what color this is thank goodness I almost sat on my glasses uh, this is blushing rose <laughs> It's it's beautiful. It's a beautiful matte, liquid matte. I like look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. And I think I got that at Dollar Tree. <laughs> so I'm going to next time I go to Do Dollar Tree and they have it, I'm getting two. Okay, now my other question is what color do I use? Okay, now we're getting serious. Put the mirror down. These are the colors that I have. I have Cloud and Kitten. Let us see. Ooh, it's light. It's very light. And that is Kitten. I think that's what she used was Kitten. And this is Cloud. Ooh. I want to use Cloud, but... It's very, very dry. Okay, unfortunately, that's gonna have to go. It's gonna have to be kitten. Okay, how she did it. <sighs> All over the eyelid. Even this one's getting dry. Yeah, that's why I need to use them. And almost like trying to do a cut crease. I don't have any uh, of that liquid that I can use to revive it. And I don't I don't think I've ever seen it at the drugstore either. Oh, good grief, Bridget. You've got nothing. Except a lot of makeup you don't use. <laughs> That's why my daughter tends to be happy every time she comes over. Because I realized, oh, I don't use this. Let's give it to somebody who does. Okay, this is telling me that I'm going to have to get a couple of other elf colors. Which is fine, because they're not very expensive, and they are beautiful, because I'm not spending that kind of money on something that will dry out before I get to finish it. Yeah, this is nice. Look at that. Making sure that I'm <laughs> I'm gonna hurt later. <laughs> I am going to hurt later. There we go. I wanna go a little bit higher. This is, I've been doing this now, this process for three years, and I am still learning. This old dog can still learn a new trick or two. This old lady dog. Yeah, I like that. It's a, a as I said, I wanted to go a little bit darker. I, I do like having a little bit more in your face color but what can you do eh? you work with what you have okay so now I do have this 
my liquid Mary Dumanizer. And I'm running out of fingers. My fingers are getting crooked and smucked up. And this is what I'm going to use. See, this I've been using a fair bit for inner corner. And below the eyebrow. So I don't feel too bad that it's running out or it's drying out because I've been using it. Like, I mean, I'm down here now, so I have been using it. And, uh, and it's nice. It, it doesn't irritate, which is the best part. I mean, I know it's a highlighter. You're supposed to use it as a highlighter, but that's what I use it as. <laughs> it works for me. Just because something says something doesn't mean you have to always, always stick to it. Sometimes you can improvise. There we go. Okay. So that is the that. I'm not going to do any eyeliner. I'm going to keep this nice and simple and fresh. Why? Uh, A, longevity. And B, it's spring. <laughs> and let us try this. Maybe I'm going to have some better luck with uh, this. Oh, look at this wand. Let's try. I can't have any worse luck than what I've been having. Except that it's freshly open, so it's going to be difficult. Am I the only one who ends up spending way too much time on TikTok? <laughs> it's like I'll start, okay, I got to do something, and then an hour later it's like, Wait a minute. <laughs> I was supposed to go do this like an hour ago. I didn't realize the time flew. I thought, okay, five minutes. No, nope, an hour later. And my husband has caught himself doing the same thing. Please tell me we're not the only ones. You know what? And this is waterproof, which might help me because my my left eye is watering today. Good old allergies. We love spring. Oh, I have to go to the drugstore again tomorrow because there's another prescription that needs to be filled. If they still have some of these mascaras available at 75% off, I think I'm going to get two or three. Look at that. I don't think I've ever had, other than the superhero mascara, I don't think I've ever had a mascara do this to my eyelashes before. Oh my goodness. I got to figure out if Bourgeois is getting out of Canada or if just they're just shutting down. Can you see that? Oh my goodness! I... Oh, wow! I've actually gone speechless. And this is just the first fresh open. And it takes about a week for a mascara to just like... wake up. At least a week, if not two. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to stock up. I hope. <laughs> and maybe even buy one that's... Wow. Wow.
<laughs> I just am. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm very happy about that. Oh, while I'm at it, I finally finished the other... Um, I know it, this should be a project pan, but I finally finished my other foundation, which was a smidge too dark for me. And I wasn't sure which one to use. So my hand was like covered in foundation. And I used this one, my, my Milani. And it's a little yellow. This one's a little pink. I need neutral. <laughs> so I should, maybe I should mix the two together. <laughs> But no, I like this. I, I like this foundation. I definitely like Milani. It's not the first time I tried it, but it's the first time I remember <laughs> and um, that I'm actually paying attention to how it feels. So I got to give it a couple more days, but the, the color, yeah, it's a little yellow, but it's nice. We'll see how it goes in two or three days, and I might give this two or three days. No, I'm going to stick to this because i got to finish it. So, yeah, i, I got to, <laughs> especially if I'm going to get another bush. <laughs> because I, got, I have a lot of foundations that need to be finished. Oh, wow. This just, if you can get your hands on this mascara, get it. Wow. <laughs> I hope Bushra's not going out of business and they're just getting out of Shoppers Drug Mart. I have to research that as soon as I'm done. <laughs> Thank you everybody for coming and spending some time with me and taking a walk on the, uh, we're not sure what Bridget's doing side. <laughs> Please come back. Leave me a comment. Like my video, subscribe to my channel. A bientôt.